All right, guys. Hey, we are uh, back with a little uh, Kenshi here. So what are we on? Episode 39, I think this is going to be. Man, got a lot of uh, episodes there. So we're going to continue on with the Magnificent Seven. And uh, if you haven't noticed, we should be in 1080p. So this is kind of a test. Because uh, I also do stream on Twitch. So, could be an issue. Not very accessible for some people. Uh, but we're going to give it a shot and see what people think. It is 2018. People should have a little bit faster internet now than from when I last tried this. Uh, but we'll we'll see how it goes. And then I can't guarantee that we'll stay on 1080p. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to go with it for a while and see how that goes. So we are at the uh, beautiful city of Hang. Kind of a unique city, actually. And that's where we left off. So I think uh, we were kind of moving, kind of headed south from the last episode. And we are going to kind of check this place out. And I think we're going to eventually make it back home. Um, maybe not to the base right away, but... We're basically just looking for fights and leveling up still. Uh, it's kind of been a slow process, but we're going to try to get in as many fights as we can. I think these outlaw farmers were maybe a little bit too much for us right now. So I'm thinking we head back and hit up the starving bandits. I think that's about our level where we can do some damage and uh, yeah, get better and get better at fighting so we can do some of this in-game stuff. Um, now let's see, where do we want to, first I should unpause it, but I'm thinking, you know, what time is it? It's almost nighttime. We can maybe try to steal some more stuff at this town. Let me see if any of that stuff respawned. I think there was a bunch of stuff over here that we took last time from one of the previous episodes. But we uh, almost didn't make it back. All right. Well, I'm going to try to get even better views. I think I've been too much like playing the game like, you know, really far out like this. I'm going to try to be maybe a little bit more, more immersive here and get a little closer with some of this stuff. So um, I'll try to do a better job at that. So this was a bar. So this wasn't the place. Where was that building that we stole? Oh, it was over here. Yes, this was it. Let's head over here. Let's see. Now, is he taking the correct path? Okay, he is across the bridge. We'll head over here and see if there's anything that we can take. Okay. Pretty sure this was the place we stole a bunch of stuff from last time. Made out like a bandit. It was upstairs. Yes, it was the throne room, I think. In the sneak mode. I want to say it was like maybe this wasn't it. Maybe it was one of the uh, the shops. Some food. I don't really need any food right now. I don't think any of this stuff did respawn. Ceramic bowl. Yeah, I think it was one of the shops, now that I'm thinking about it. That we snuck into. Get off sneak. 
It wasn't in here. was that was it, it had to have been no that's not it maybe it was this one all right so there's a guard there i think this was the one not that we really need any money we'll see going to sneak mode here we got a couple guards coming I think last time we hid inside the shop and they closed. I think that's how I did it last time. They kind of snuck out. They're already asleep. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen here. I don't think this... This is probably not the one. Let's head over. Oh, let's get off sneak. Head back over to the group. I think it may be... Yeah, it had to have been that one. It had to have been, unless it was... Oh, you know what? It could have been this one, too. Let's see what we can do over here. And there's a... There's a shop over here that's... Actually, probably even better to sneak into. Alright, we're gonna wait for this guard. Samurai gate guard to stroll by. We got an auto save. I gotta figure out why these autosaves are taking absolutely, absolutely forever. Like honestly, forever. There we go. All right, let's sneak. Okay. Get in here, see what we can take. I don't even know if we have enough room, but it's always good to check some stuff out and get our uh, skills up. We might as well, right? Now, no one. Oh, there is someone sleeping down here, so that might hamper our ability. Electrical components. Yeah, nothing worthwhile. Actually, while I'm in here, I'm, what was my chance of steel? 168%, so we're probably not going to wake him up. Splint kit. We can sneak around here. I think this is definitely one of the more fun ways to play the game. Nothing. What's my steel chance here? 183. We're going to take that med kit. Oh. Alright, these two are going to be pretty good, usually behind the counter. Now I could wear a backpack and armor and still have a pretty high chance of stealing 194%. So, uh, robotic components. Mm, let's see what we got in this last one. This is going to be the one that really. This uh, safe here. Going to be the one that really makes a difference whether I'm going to take some stuff or not. Nah, I mean. These are worth quite a bit too, these uh, skeleton repair kits. Maybe I take these. Or 
first. And then these guys. I think that's going to be all right. All right. And then most of the time, these little things, everything else is probably going to be pretty not so good in terms. I mean, I could look at a couple of these, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, there's just always a bunch of uh, not good stuff. All right. So let's take a look at our stats. So yeah, I mean, once you get these up, uh, I think past like 40 or 50, you can really do some damage here. So our athletics is getting pretty high at 82. Katana's is starting to get a little bit better. Uh, we have a little stealth and thievery too. Uh, 65 and 63 respectively, but um, good science. We just need to get better at fighting. Slowly getting there, right? So I'm not too worried. I think it'll come in time. But if we can get Katana's melee attack, melee defense, and our dodge skill up a little bit more uh, to where we're looking in the 60s like this, then I think we'll have a lot more fun with this game. But we're going still, we're 40 hours in, and <laughs> we're still going through the... Uh, beginning grind so. all right let's get out of this town i'm not worried about money too much so i'm not going to steal everything in here but all right let's start heading back i think we're good on food and everything uh we'll just kind of get in our little group here i think everyone's pretty much oh uh, let's see. Okay, it looks clean. We're good. He didn't check Twitch Trump, so... I think it's whoever ta he talks to. I don't think he checks the whole group. So we might be okay on that one. Alright. Probably save. Even though it's going to take a second. Save successful. All right. Actually, it seems to be working quicker than it normally does. So well, that's good. All right, well, we'll keep on heading over this direction. And hopefully the 1080p makes a big difference, so. I started a new um, Nova Atis stream, or not stream, but um, series. And uh, that was the first thing I tested in 1080p, and that went pretty well. I don't think I had, I was only in you know, streaming on Twitch for a half an hour or so. So it was like no one came in at that point. So I didn't really get any uh, feedback on how the stream looked. But I did go back and, uh, you know, check out the video before I uploaded it. And it looked uh, noticeably better. So there's still some things like during some high, like, you know, fight scenes and stuff like that. Like especially on uh, Mountain Blade where it kind of got a little... Uh, pixelated, not too bad. Um, I just wonder if that's OBS because I'm not using a capture card. I'm straight OBS and I am streaming off a laptop. Uh, everything, all these videos that you see have been off of, uh, all the recent ones anyway, off of the, uh, laptop. And then, uh, some of my earlier stuff was off of, uh, off of the Xbox. Hmm. 
I guess we're going to go right through there. All right. I wonder if we could take one of these bug dudes on. I guess we could find out. We're pretty healthy. Oh, there's two of them. Wow. One of them I think we can do. I think. But two of them? Yeah, go somewhere else, dude. Oh, we got him. Oh, that's awesome. And we're already healing. Good, good, good. Check this out. Let's see. We're going to take the teeth. And then we're going to leave. Uh, who got hurt? We actually didn't have too many. Didn't have too many casualties. Wow, that's. Whoa. Let's um, not aggro all those guys. Go into sneak mode. Because <laughs> that would be a death right there. Absolutely. We gotta start practicing if I ever decide to do like an Iron Man. I was thinking another good idea for a series would be, so I was talking about exporting and I could have this series going on, but I was kind of curious to do, you know, one maybe without the base building, maybe have like a base inside of a town, like a building that we bought and fixed up and basically just taking exporting Twitch Trump because he's, you know, getting better now. And I think once I probably wait till he gets, you know, quite a bit better, but my idea was to just do a solo playthrough. So export him, keep him in obviously this playthrough, and do another playthrough and it's a solo, just a solo playthrough, one person, to see if we can make it through uh, with one guy uh, and see how that goes. So we wouldn't really do any base building. We might do like research and stuff like that, but as far as I think you can just own a little shop in town and uh, we can do it that way. So let me know what you guys think of that. I think that would be kind of cool. I don't know if anyone's done a solo playthrough. We can get off sneak now. Those are slave hunters. We're good there. Don't have any issues with them. Save. Uh, I just want to make sure we save quite a bit because last time I remember making it not very far without running st uh, into stuff all the time when we came back from hang but see what happens I remember those bugs kept on coming out of the ground this game though this game is beautiful and some of the, and I, I have like shadows turned off and a bunch of other stuff just to make it run a little bit better. But there are certain views that you can get and it just looks, you know, fantastic. Especially with the two moons or the planet and the moon in the background. Uh, just really cool. So I know that was a, a big complaint on some of the reviews. People are like, oh, graphics from 2000, but I don't think so. I think this game looks appropriate. I don't think uh, having better graphics would honestly do anything for me as far as it just has so much gameplay, and that's that's what matters. I think it looks just fine. Yeah, it's 
That's a pretty game in my opinion. We have all the textures and stuff turned up. Everything's pretty much max, but as far as um, I did turn shadows off. Just so when I hit, you know, when I do uh, OBS with the recording, I can get more frames per second because OBS can sometimes be a little bit of a drain, especially on a laptop, you know. I don't have the... Uh, 7700k i have like the 7700 hq i want to say it is but this this laptop's been a beast it's played everything so i can't really complain pretty happy with it Had it for a year and a couple of months now, so no issues. Windows 10 has been good and everything, so. And then, of course, I'm running dual screen and all that kind of stuff uh, through HDMI. I was thinking I might get a big... Um, Instead of having a my secondary display be a computer monitor, I was thinking about mounting like a, I don't know, 42 inch TV on the wall and using that and kind of breaking it down into like, you know, 20 inch screens basically and have four things kind of going on. And I got a, I'm going to have a spare 42 inch, so I might have to try that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Just kind of resize the windows on there, and I think that would be perfect. But eventually, yeah, eventually I want to do a desktop build. I think next time around I'm going to go an AMD build. Uh, AMD graphics, AMD... Um, processor because I do hear that the new Ryzen stuff is pretty dang good for streaming and recording and all that good stuff so probably wait another year maybe not this new generation that's about to come out but the third generation I think yeah the first generation was last year I think the second generation just came out probably next year third generation I'm probably thinking about then Do not approach United Cities. What is this? Hmm. It's like another one of these I went by before. And I uh, wonder if you get a sneak in how that works. But another one of these I went by. It was blocked off like that as well, and they were like, nope, can't get in there. It's probably where some of those books are, and those nasty machines that you fight. I would assume, I don't know how you would get in there without causing a war there. Or maybe you can bribe them, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. I don't think we're there yet. Oh, let's see. As soon as I, uh, See if we can take two on. I need to see what our limit is. Okay, we got one. Very nice, very nice.
Uh, harp went down. Harp is down. Let's go. Who's got a backpack? I think Winder G has a backpack. Yeah, he does. We're gonna take the teeth. So they don't wake up. Take your teeth too. Take the meat. Alright. We got a little bit banged up, but you know what? We need to build these guys up. We need to get them stronger. So look at that. Toughness is up to 29. I'd have to check and see what that was up. We got two in katanas over the last two little fights. So, I mean, I think once you start getting it a little bit, it starts drastically going up because you're you're hitting more shots. You're doing more damage, right? So. Um, beautiful. Toughness, 24. I think this is all up. Harp seems to get knocked out pretty easily. Oh. Alright. And his uh, field medic is slowly going up. So, which is good. Yeah. He's kind of the man of all trades. Which will be great if I do a solo playthrough, right? You kind of want him to be pretty well-rounded. Be able to do just about everything. I think that's how that would work. I think you carry over your stats. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. You guys would have to let me know if you've done an export before. He's about ready to not be unconscious. Wake up right there. How's everyone doing? I'm glad we're able to kill some stuff now. Slowly getting our skills up. All right, are we good? We're good. Do we use all the med kits? No, we still have some med kits left. We have to make sure we watch that though. We got a couple guys limping, pieces limping. Harp's probably messed up. Griffin looks like he's a little limpy. We got an auto save here. Which was a nice and quick. Like it. Seems like it's running better and better. Alright, so 1080 as far as what I see, there's no real extra, looks like the CPU usage is up about a percent more uh, than it normally would be. With OBS is saying it's using about three and a half percent versus about two and a half, I think. So I don't think I'm really using that much more in terms of my computer. Now the internet, um, internet should be good, so pushing pretty close to a um to a uh what is that called gigabit so that shouldn't really cause any thing there okay we're slowly making our way let's see do I want to go through here I think I do. So I 